Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a completion to show you today and this is my one from paintsomeway.com. Uh, it was sent to me in a PR package, I think it was, in uh, November. So just at the back end of last month and yeah, I thought you'd like to see it completed. I just love it. Uh, it's just, I showed you a lot of the detail when I did my unboxing. Um, if you have a look on my playlists, there is a Paint Somewhere um, playlist. And if you have a look on there, um, you will see the unboxing of this. So I go into it in real detail. But yeah, it's just so pretty. It's like a, a thing nearly for all seasons. Uh, yeah, we've got our hyacinths here. The only thing I did think was, oh, we've got a hedgehog here which I hadn't noticed before. Look, can you just see? We've got Mrs. Hedgehog just peeping out from behind these crocuses. And I did think, oh, Hedgehog should be hibernating at the moment. But it is suddenly very warm here in uh, the UK. We've gone from nearly the coldest temperatures on record, not quite, but nearly uh, in the UK, to all of a sudden we've got like 10 degrees Celsius uh, warm weather shall we say for this time of year so yeah you never know what to put on say so, UK weather you're best off either well if you go out in your big heavy coat and your wellies take an umbrella but have a bikini on underneath and then you're covered for all eventualities <laughs> okay so yeah it's just beautiful I love it the colours it's sparkly all the different ways it's all been intertwined the picture with the baubles and the presents and the holly and the little blue tit here and the robin over here and we've got little rudolph over here and parcels and little toad stools crocuses oh it's just wonderful really enjoyed doing it as well it was really as you said i do love my wreaths uh, wreaths are one of the things that i enjoy doing uh, the most i think on special drills and then all these little stars in the middle it's just wonderful it's really tactile as well i can just sit and uh, stroke it <laughs> but yeah all those little teeny tiny stars to be honest food again but it does remind me a little bit of a strawberry you know with <laughs> big strawberry in the middle with all the little bits on it <laughs> But yes, yeah, so I will be cutting this one out and it will be going on to uh, foam board. I keep saying mount board, but it is foam board. This is just like a really big polystyrene tile. This was really cheap stuff that I got. So yeah, it's very much, you do pay for what you get, I think, in a lot of cases. Um, but yeah, and there's lots of meals left over. Um, the price of this one was $4.99. So good value for money on the actual diamond painting just uh yeah just the foam board that's uh, not brilliant but anyway <laughs> so we had look hot pink it was a definite liz unboxing and a liz painting because it had a hot pink on it and gold red green look all my christmassy colors a little bit of blue and then the three lots of different uh, special shapes specials we've got uh, the marquees, the large rounds that are faceted, and then lots, look how many stars we've got left over. We did all of those stars in the middle there, and then we've got a bag full left over as well. Oh, sorry, there's a bit of glare there, isn't there? That's, uh, yeah, we have actually got uh, daylight here today, which is great. Um, yeah, but then I've got uh, glare on my videos, but never mind. <laughs> you can't have everything. I do nothing but moan, okay. So let's pop those into there. Let me get the big scissors out. Okay, now this one, it has, I don't know if you can see, it has like got a shadow edging going all the way around here. So I'm not gonna cut where the drills are, I'm just gonna cut the actual shape. I mean, you could just put that in a frame or cut it out and put it in one of the magnetic frames or whatever you want to do. Um, but I want this actually as a round plate. So that's how this is going to go onto my wall. So let me just roughly cut out first and get rid of all the uh, flappy edges. And it just makes it that little bit easier to put out. Uh, again, you could seal it if you wanted to, so that you don't knock any of the gems while you're cutting it out. 
but uh, I want this on my wall, so I'm not I'm not uh, sealing it today. Okay. Oh, sorry, that um, piece of polystyrene underneath is really making a noise, isn't it? Right. So these are the bits to go in my log book which does need updating. I'm going to have so many drills to put away and so much to put in my log book. It's going to be unreal. That is the chair as well squeaking. That's not me, honest. I've got like a cushion on my chair and it, it sort of like rubs on the uh, fake plastic. <laughs> That's my story and I'll stick it to it. Okay, so let's go into this now and cut it out a little bit more uh, closer to the edge and following it around the pattern. Just keep it so I can see it. It's very, very faint. So it's just keeping that pattern edge. I'm not quite sure what it'll look like without the white uh, edging to show that there is a pattern. It might just look like I've cut it out badly. But we'll see how we go. <laughs> that's a little bit darker there, so that's a bit easier to see. And it does go in and out that little bit. So fingers crossed. When it goes on the wall, I say it doesn't look like I've just uh, been, um, yeah, taking part in a few uh, little Christmas drinks when I put it out. <laughs> Because with all these holly leaves, it is just a little bit too much to cut out uh, just to the actual drill area. So, let's just see anyway. See what it looks like when it gets on the wall. I can always get some alcohol markers or something or some inks and just colour it in. Yeah, okay, okay. so that's that cut out. I don't know, it just looks like a bit of shading, doesn't it? Just looks like a bit of shading. So it needs popping onto the foam board, which I may cut out with scissors. Uh, I'm just going to put it on with double sided tape for now. And then later on, um, what I'll do is use some uh, mounting adhesive. This one, I don't know if the Crafters Companion still do this. I've had it a long time. Uh, oh, no, there's no expiry date on it. I was just thinking I've had it a long time. Um, and you just literally spray it. But I always go outside to spray it because it is glue. And if it does get on, say, your carpets or your clothes or your furniture, you li you really don't want it on there. Uh, you can use Goo God to get it off. But if you do it outside, then you're not having to do that. So, yeah. Okay. Let's just put this on here for now. Just give those a bit of a press down. Okay, and let's see if we can get it off without tweezers. Now, where's my tweezers? Where's my tweezers gone? Oh, pink and sparkly tweezers from the lovely Chris. Knocking everything over on my desk. If you could see the state of my desk that's next to uh, this bit that you can see me filming. It is covered in junk. <laughs> I've got little piles of stuff everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's just mad at the minute. I have been tidying up. Uh, this painting, I actually lost it. Um, it was a little bit creased when I uh, started doing it. So I put it underneath my work board where I do my diamond painting on, on my little table. And I forgot I'd put it there and I've literally uh, been looking everywhere. And I've thought, right, I must have brought it upstairs and put it in a pile with something. Then I thought, oh, no, I must have picked it up with some rubbish and put it in the dustbin. No, it was underneath that board. And it was it's literally taken me a day to realise where it was. And I've been thinking, oh, well, if I've lost it, what am I going to do? And anyway, I found it. <laughs> that firmly down now you can either use a craft knife to go around the edge if you do probably use a cutting board or something underneath but i'm just gonna go have, have a go at doing this with a pair of scissors and see what happens so i'll just cut it sorry if you don't like the noise maybe just mute it for a couple of seconds um, and just 
okay so that's cut all right i just don't want loads of bits all over because it'll be like it's snowed and then i'm just going to go around and cut and again angle your scissors as if you were just cutting around a diamond painting and just get it so it goes slightly underneath i do apologize for any squeaking because it's going through me a little bit as well now nah, definitely i'll be using my craft knife next time because i can't sound the noise <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's definitely giving a more raggy edge doing it this way. Oh, well, it was worth a try. I do like to try these things. Uh, whether I should be trying it on camera while I'm filming, I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to look like it's got snow on the edge, isn't it? But yeah, like, um, hmm. don't know if you've seen it. Somebody's put on uh, YouTube that uh, their cat burst their... Uh, bag full of beads that were to go into their bean bag and they took the cat out of the bag cat out the bag ba -boom, and it was literally covered in all these little polystyrene bills and beads and i thought oh no that's gonna take forever to get that off there so yeah i'm very wary with polystyrene i've had have had um a polystyrene bean bag burst on me oh goodness me and the beads just went everywhere it was just madness absolute madness and of course anything that shouldn't be funny i found really funny <laughs> so, <laughs> we were just chasing them for days and then you just end up with static stuck to you and they're just absolutely everywhere <laughs> like this look now oh no it looks like it's snowed on my floor now i've just tried to get that to the bin and it's sort of like just scattered itself all across the floor <laughs> okay so i can keep that big bit I'll just get rid of the small bit put that in the rubbish over there and i think that looks pretty i say that will uh, once i say i'll take it off because it will just peel off this easily i'll take it off and put some proper spray amount on it and then uh, it will be going on my wall ready for uh, my christmas display and then i will be getting my video done so keep watching the channel because uh, yeah i've got my display to show you all take you around the uh, room and uh, show you all my different bits and pieces that i've done okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next and see that video of uh, my living room and dining room with all my uh, different diamond painting things on then if you press that subscribe button and the all notification bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come up and you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now